Hi class, today we're going to do this crazy little speckled ostrich or rainbow bird. Not quite sure what he is, but he's very cute. So here's what it looks like when we're done. And for this one, I used um, watercolor markers, but you guys can use whatever you have at home. So I'm going to draw them out again, but this time I'm going to use my color pencils. And these are actually watercolor pencils. But you guys can just use color pencils or markers, sharpies, whatever you have at home. Um, and you're going to need rainbow color. You'll need a pencil, an eraser, and then some form of a sharpie or waterproof permanent marker. And make sure you have paper down behind so that you protect your table. So to start the bird, we're going to draw his little beak in. And I'm using watercolor paper because I'm going to use my watercolors afterwards. So we're going to start with the beak and the first shape you want to do is this shape. So it's a little curve just like that. And then down here we're going to make a curve. We don't want it too pointy. So it has a curved bottom like this. And then this comes out to a curve here and you want to try and be very careful to be even. I know it's a little difficult. And then you just join those lines together and do your best to be even we want even space mine's a little off but that's okay we're gonna fix them a little bit here and then he has little nose holes on his beak and then he has this beak line which is where his mouth is and it kind of follows that first line so it follows the line it doesn't touch and then you just go in with your eraser and lighten up those lines. Now remember, we're gonna be going over this with our Sharpie, so you don't wanna to push too hard with your pencil. Use nice light lines. And for the eyes, what I like to do is mark right here. You wanna have a line here, and then come up and have a line here. So we have a nice, even shape. And try and do that on both sides. So I'm just gonna draw a little guideline so we're both off the side, it's not over the beak, it's a little bit to the side of the beak. And then the best you can, I know it's hard, make this perfectly round on this side and the same on this side. So imagine like you're tracing a quarter. And mine is never perfect, but it's good enough. So that's the very round side of the eye. And then his eye on this side is cut off a little bit because his fuzzy feathers. So we want to make that line a little bit sharper. So this is the sharp line and this is very round. And then we're just going to come in and give him this giant pupil. He looks a little crazy, which is what we want. And then I'm going to just mark out a little area for a reflection in his pupil. And that's it for the pencil on the face. I'm just gonna carefully give him a little line and this you wanna do so very, very lightly just to give him a little shape, right? We wanna get the shape of his face and I'm just gonna make it round on the bottom like this. He's gonna have a little, we wanna make sure the, ha the hair on the top is flat so I just have a straight line on the top and those are just guidelines for me. It doesn't have to be perfect. This is gonna get erased and then his neck comes off to the side. So that's it for the basic drawing. And then you're gonna go and switch to your Sharpie. And this is the big one. I'm gonna switch to my little one first. And I'm just gonna trace that in with a nice thick black line and try and do your best to stay in your lines. I'm going to trace the pupil and around that little reflection and then I'm going to trace around my beak with my black line and if you guys are going to be painting this with watercolors then make sure your markers are waterproof right so use a sharpie or something that says waterproof and if you're not sure you test it first all right so that's it for that I'm going to use a thicker marker to color in his pupil. So he's a nice dark pupil. And I'm going to avoid that little reflection spot that I did. 
And then at this point, you just want to kind of check it. I'm going to give him a thick line around the outside of this eye here. Make him look a little bit crazier. <laughs> That's cute. And then you want to color in his little nose holes just like that. Okay, so um, I'm going to use my pencils to color this in. And the first thing I'm going to do is color in the eye. Now these are watercolor pencils. And if you have a lot of um, pencil lines that are showing, you might want to erase those first. I should have done that before I started coloring. I don't know if it'll come out now. Yeah, it's fine. So color it in nice and evenly. I'm not going to take too much time on this one, but you get the idea. I'm going to color in the eyes, and I am doing a blue-eyed bird. This is a rainbow bird, so you can do any color you want. So decide what color you want for your eyes, and then pick a nice orange for his beak. And again, if you have lots of pencil marks, just kind of clean those up a little bit. I'm not being super careful because I'm trying to rush through this so that I can get done in one video. But of course, you guys at home are going to take your time and do your best work, right? So I'm just going to lighten up my lines a little bit. I want to be able to see where that guideline is, but I don't really want it to show. So I'm using my uh, gummy eraser and I'm just going to lighten those lines up can still see it and hopefully you can still see it and I'm gonna start with yellow so I have my yellow and I want to always start at the beak and flick out try and avoid the eye so with the yellow I'm just gonna start making some lines and I want to fill this little area in here on both sides and then using your wrist you're gonna flick it out and color that in darker and maybe a little bit of this yellow goes above his eye. So that's just starting his little feathers and his fur. And this is a nice light lemon yellow. If you're using a marker, you'd use the same technique. Just flick it out with the marker. And then I'm going to switch to an orange. And for these colors, we're going to want to start layering. So I'm going to put a few flicks in here and give him that cute little furry look. And you'll see once you start layering your colors, how his fuzzy face starts showing. So we did yellow and then we did orange. So we're just gonna kind of work our way through the rainbow. And then for red, I'm gonna go down here at the edge of his beak. And I don't wanna get too much into my yellow because that's pretty much the only yellow that's gonna be on him. So I'm gonna just give him all this little silly red mustache looking thing here. Remember we start at the beak and we flick it out. And he can have a little bit of red coming out underneath here. Try not to get on your beak. And if you haven't used watercolor pencils before, they're a lot of fun because it looks like a pencil drawing, but then you can go over it when you're done with uh, watercolor just clear water in a brush, and that'll give you a really neat effect. So I'm just gonna put a little bit of orange in here. This is a darker orange, um, just to kind of blend, blend out that color a little bit. You guys can do any color you want, but I really like having the light yellow around the eyes. I think it makes his eyes pop in the final picture. And, if you have your sounds turned way up, you can hear my little mouse. I have a pet mouse. He's running around his spinner right now, making all kinds of crazy noises. Maybe one day I'll put him in the video so you can see him. All right, so now I'm using this kind of apple green, right? It's a very yellow green. And I'm going to just blend it into some of that yellow. Now, this is where we want to kind of keep in mind our shape because we want him to have this flat top. So I'm going to go to that edge. Now if you can see your pencil lines through, go ahead and erase them a little bit so they're very light. You don't really want to see him. And now I'm going to switch to my darker green 
So you always want to start with the light, lighter color first. So use your lighter green and then switch into your dark greens. And again, it's all in your wrist, right? It's flick. We're flicking it out so that the ends of your lines are thinner. And that's how you get that flicked, fuzzy effect. So I'm going to put a little bit of green in here so that when I do my blues, it'll blend. And then if you have a teal green, this is a great color. You can kind of mix a few teal in there because we're transitioning into this blue in the middle of his face here. Now make sure there isn't any white down by his beak, right? It's okay if there's little white areas at the top, but we really want to fill in close to the beak. So there's the teal, and I'm going to just switch to the next blue. So this is just the progress of colors here in the rainbow. And we're just coloring it in. And this looks really neat with marker. Or, and you could even do this with crayon. It's just once you learn this technique of flicking out. And then I'm going to come in with my purple. And put just a few purple hairs in the middle of my little rainbow bird here. <laughs> Isn't he cute? Oh, I love it. Okay, so I'm gonna go back now and do the bottom. So I'm gonna come in and put in some of that lighter green. And now my lines are gonna get much shorter because you see where his chin is. We don't wanna go past that. And that's one reason we always have a guideline when we're drawing, so that we stay on our target. Again, it's the same process. We're mixing our colors, starting with the lighter ones. And try and do my best to stay in my lines here. I'm gonna put a little teal and a lot of this blue down here. And if you want, you can color in this little area so that you can have a nice place to start. And I'm rushing through this. I wish I had a better way to film and to upload to YouTube for you guys, but we have to kind of make do with what we have in these crazy times. I'm just happy that you guys are enjoying my videos, and I love all the emails I've been getting from my students, just telling me that you have fun doing them, and that's all that matters. I just want you guys to have a lot of fun during this time and kind of break free from all the craziness. So let's see, I'm gonna start his neck now. So we're gonna start with our pink, and here we have to kind of weave our way underneath the fur that's already there. So I'm gonna try and stagger my lines. All right, so with the pink, you wanna try and get underneath your neck here, his chin fur, right? So I'm gonna put pinks in, and again, I'm starting at the top, I'm flicking down. And then we're going to go into the purple. And again, you can do any color you want, but do try and stay in rainbow order. It makes them look more interesting when you do the, you know, colors in the color wheel. And if you don't know how the colors go, please just have someone at home look up um, your color wheel so that you can keep it in line. Mix some reds in there. And then I think I'll just do this guy in orange. The other one I did the neck in purple, but I like the progression of this color here. And kinda, I don't really have a very, oh, I do have my light orange. It was hiding. So this is a yellowy orange. I'm just gonna fill in little bits. And notice how I have this protective paper underneath. That will be very important here in a minute as we switch to watercolor. All right, so now if you can see those little guidelines, go ahead and just try and erase a few of them. And you can come back in with your colored pencils and touch up anywhere you might erase from this. And one thing I can't tell you enough is when you're drawing out a sketch, whatever it is, you wanna keep your pressure light so that you can erase your lines. Please don't grind the pencil into the paper. That is just the hardest thing to get rid of. 
we always want to have very very light pencil marks all right so he's pretty cute he looks a lot different than the one I did in marker let me put him next to you here and put some more purple in him darken up his face a little bit so here's the one I did in marker so you can see they look a lot different can you see them yeah so this guy I did the splashing effect on and that is what I'm gonna show you how to do now with this crazy little bird and, but first I'm just gonna come in put a little darker tone around his eye we're just gonna fix him up a little bit here and uh, give him a little darkness just like that I'm gonna give him some fuzzies around his eye just to make him look different than the other bird okay so I'm gonna put my color pencils away and I'm going to get a paper towel I have a little paper towel scrap here now before we flick anything this is very messy so make sure that you have a tablecloth down it gets everywhere this is probably one of the messier techniques I'll show you so make sure you have some some paper to protect your table or an old tablecloth or something newspapers um, make sure you're telling your parents that you're going to be making a big mess so they can help you set up for it so I'm going to just rip out a circle out of paper towel and I want them to kind of fit over my guy's face here this is just to protect the face while I'm flicking the background so I'm just gonna cover his little face that looks good and you're gonna want a big brush don't use one of these the flat brushes for some reason they just don't get the right blop sizes if you want to get this speckled look you got to use a nice big round brush that has a nice spring to it and we're just gonna hit it with our finger towards the paper so you're gonna to want to practice that on a side piece of paper before you start so you'll need water and I've made some colors here I think for this guy I might change my colors and um, what if I made a, a kind of an apple green so how do we make an apple green we need water I'm just gonna put a little water in my colors here I'm gonna make yellow first right so we always start with our lighter color that yellow and nice and bright you want a lot of pigment in the in the paint clean it out between right so every time you go into a new color you want a clean brush so I'm just gonna pick up some of this green I'm gonna mix it in there and now I have a cool apple green color all right so make sure your little guys covered nice and flat we don't want splashes on his face and then you're going to position over your paper and just tap tap your brush like that so we have paint in the brush you don't want too much because you don't want giant blobs and i'm just going to splash it i'm just tapping it it's okay if it gets on his neck i think that adds a little bit to the fun and i like this blue i made so i'm going to go into this blue nice dark blue and I'm just gonna give him some so it's like a crazy rainbow bird that you know got in the rainbow water and now he's splashing his little head here he's making a big mess and that looks so fun now for those of you that are in sixth grade in mrs. Logan's class if you've ever noticed there's a fox on her wall and that is a fox that I painted for her and in that picture I use this technique so if you look at it next time you're in the classroom you'll notice that the background has been splashed just like I'm doing and you see how much mess I'm making everywhere so that's why I really want you guys to make sure you've got some paper towels down and some protection for your table I'm just gonna take that off now you want to let this dry don't don't touch it while the little splashes are drying and I'm just gonna move him you see this big mess I made craziness I tell you so I'll take my paper and there you can see my fun little splash bird the rainbow splash bird so this is your project for this week and I'd love to see what you're making at home 
Um, feel free to change it up, make it your own. Email it to me so that I can see how it turned out. I love seeing all your art, and I really hope that you enjoyed this tutorial. Don't forget to follow me so you'll know when new ones show up. And thanks, we'll talk again.